Hey guys, so today I am filming a makeup tutorial on this look right here featuring the Dose of Colors Death Yet Tatey palette. I used Suze and Harpoon. I am definitely a fan of this palette and a fan of Desi and Katie. I mean, come on. I love them. Anyways, I'm going to my family's Christmas party tonight, which is weird to say that I'm like going to it because normally that would just be a given, but I'm actually having to like drive from college to my family's Christmas party tonight to go. But you can catch me there. So this is my Christmas look for that. I hope you like it. I'm gonna stop rambling and get into the video. All right, so first I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now I'm just gonna set that really quick with my Morphe M438. This is gonna make blending a lot easier in the future. Now we're just gonna start with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with my first transition shade. And for this, I'm gonna use Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's just slightly darker than my skin tone. And this also will make our eyeshadow look a lot more blended in the end. Now back in with my Sigma E40, I'm going to go into a lime green shade, kind of a, I'll show you. I'm gonna use this shade here out of the Morphe 35C palette. And this is kind of gonna be our second transition shade. The first one will make the green fade into my skin and this one will make the dark green fade into silk cream. So now I'm going in with our first crease shade. I'm gonna use this Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush and I'm gonna go in with another shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This one is called Enchanted. It's just a dark green. I'm gonna place that slightly under the lime green going all the way across. If you make sure to add just little bits at a time to gradually darken it, that's going to help you blend it out a lot, as well as just going back with the first brush, which might still have a little bit of green on it. That will also help you. I am feeling this. Little do y'all know though, I almost broke several things setting up. Last time I filmed in here, I broke a fluorescent light bulb, so actually that was two times ago, but still. This time I broke my chair. I'm actually not sure what the deal is with that. I think I fixed it, but... <laughs> Honestly, not quite too sure. I'm gonna go back with the lime green and place that on top of this to try to blend it out a little bit better. Same thing with my other eye. Hello? You know, it makes you so mad. I think so, you told me about it. Bye. Now for the star of the show, I am using the Jessie X Tatey palette with Dose of Colors. This palette is one of the prettiest things I own, hands down. It is beautiful. And I love all of the shades in there, guys. Today I am using Harpoon. That's the green shade in here. And just like look at it. You see how it's like different colors? It's like teal and green. This shade was designed to use wet and with your fingers. So I'm just gonna get my finger a little wet and wash the magic are you ready it looks like there's actually like gold glitter on my eyes but that is just the eyeshadow it's freaking metallic so now I'm going to just blend out the edges a little bit my finger looks like a gem so now going in with this morphe mb 46 brush I'm going to take some of that dark green and just pat it on the outside corner of my eyelid I do this with pretty much every look I do, like so. And I wanna darken the crease, but I don't know if black or brown is the way to go. I'm gonna try brown. So now going in with Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette is this dark brown here at the end. I'm gonna take the same brush that I just used for the green and darken up my crease a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to touch up the lid color after I do this. I'm gonna try to do this with my eyes somewhat open. So this I'm only gonna bring in to about here. I'm gonna blend that out. I'm so freaking excited tonight. My family is having our Christmas party. So I'm driving home in the evening. It's not even necessary that I touch up the lid color. I just love to see it sparkle when I first apply it and I'm going to touch it up anyways. 
You can't stop me. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Make sure that green is popping right here. It's very important to me. So I finished my lid and I'm gonna go ahead and do some winged eyeliner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I don't know if I've talked about this on my YouTube channel before, but I really like this eyeliner. It is like $3 and it's pretty good guys. It's honestly, it's blacker than my Kat Von D eyeliner that I used to use. Take that how you will. When I do my winged eyeliner, I kind of, I draw a line from here to here and then I draw it from here to here and then I do my lid and kind of connect it because my eyelids fold so I can't just like draw one straight line across. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I totally cannot do this on camera so I'm gonna be down here. So now for the face, I have already primed and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm shade 120 and I'm actually using a Morphe beauty sponge. I feel like it's harder to do my concealer around my eyes with this sponge. I'm not really sure why, but I also feel like I use a lot less product with this sponge as compared to the beauty blender, so. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. Now I'm gonna set that with my RCMA No Color Powder. By the way, I think this brush is pretty perfect for setting the under eye. This is the Morphe M438. I would recommend it. So now I'm gonna put some bronzer on my forehead before I do my eyebrows. I'm still using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but dude, I am almost out. Let me know if you have any good bronzer recommendations because I am looking to try some new ones. I've never tried the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I might try that, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I can go ahead and put some bronzer down here. Before I do my brows, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone using <coughs> using a matte white. <laughs> I might go over it with a shimmer. We'll see how I feel. I think it needs a shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna go over that with the tiniest bit of beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I feel like once I put shimmer on the rest of my face, I'm gonna wish that there's a little bit of shimmer on my brow bone too to kind of even it out. Okay, so for the brows, I am using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. I've thought about filming a brow tutorial before, but TBH, I do my eyebrows differently every day, basically. I'm going to set my brows with some Tresemme hair gel on this Morphe brush. So why don't you say we finish up the lower lash line? I'm going to go straight into the dark green we use on this Morphe B42. I have two Morphe B42s now because I use it for my brow bone and my inner corner highlight and my lower lash line. I really like this brush. On the inner corner, I'm gonna add some of that lime green. So now let's, um, let's hit up the inner corner with Sue's from this palette. We're gonna highlight our inner corner with this color. This is also another shade that needs to be used wet and ideally with your finger, but obviously I can't highlight my inner corner with my finger. I've been loving highlighting my inner corner with this color. Not for like an everyday look, but like for a dramatic look. OMG, it is metallic. It is, it is beautiful. It is everything you would ever want in a highlight. Let's put on some more mascara. You could line your lower waterline with a dark green or a black. I'm not really that kind of gal. I'm not gonna do it, but that would probably look really cool on some of you. Instead, I'm going to contour real quick using this NYX. I think it's a contour powder. Also, finally found my ideal contour brush. It's the Morphe G35. I have hated pretty much every contour brush I've bought in the past. I've been doing makeup for a little while now and I've never found one that I liked, but I like this one. What should I do for blush? I think this color might look good. Okay, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette, which I honestly don't use very often, but every once in a while, it comes in handy. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice blush color, okay. It's pretty pigmented, guys. You don't have to 
tap very hard into it to get color payoff. For highlight lately, my go-to has been mixing the two highlighting shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette, Beam and whatever the other one is called, and mixing Champagne Pop with that. I'm a Jaclyn Hill stan, what can I say? I think with this look, Champagne Pop will look really good because I have that champagne-y color on my inner corner and there's some gold in the in the eyeshadow. You may think I'm being dramatic, but I legitimately am not sure that I can get past all of this equipment and reach my Champagne Pop. It is right there. It is so close to me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Let's see if I knock anything over. Okay. Yes! Now for a lip color. This is our final step, guys. We've made it. I think this is the first time I've ever filmed a makeup tutorial and my camera hasn't died, so I'm getting better. I'm getting quicker. This actually might be really pretty. What if I did red? That's not red. Okay, would red be too much? I'm just gonna put some of this on and see what happens. This, by the way, is ColourPop, the shade BeautyCon. Dude, this would look good. What if I just put it on top of this? Hmm, interesting. This is not how you should be applying this, but yet here we are. Well, this is the finished look. I really hope you like how it turned out. I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in a minute. I know it's because there are a lot of work to film, but I do really enjoy it when I do. If you liked this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you're not already so that you can stay updated with all that I am doing in the world. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely Christmas with your family and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye! They're singing deck the hall but it's not like Christmas at all.